Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to go over two worked examples to show you how to do problems involving general relativity. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you'll be able to apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question 1 says that special and general relativity both deal with frames of reference. Part A says what is meant by an inertial frame of reference? Well, an inertial frame of reference is a frame of reference in which an object will not accelerate with respect to another. That is, all objects obey Newton's first law of motion if they are in inertial frames of reference. Part B then says what is meant by a non-inertial frame of reference? Well, this is a frame of reference in which an object will accelerate with respect to another. Part C then says which frame of reference applies to special relativity and which to general relativity? Well, this is straight from the notes, but remember that special relativity is dealing with inertial frames of reference and general relativity deals with non-inertial frames of reference. Question 2 says using the equivalence principle, state what the following situations are equivalent to. So part A says a rocket accelerating at 1.6 meters per second squared in deep space. Well, you might recognize this value of 1.6, namely for 1.6 newtons per kilogram, and that means something to do with the moon. So this is the same as standing on the surface of the moon. And remember that is because due to the equivalence principle, we cannot distinguish between the effect of a gravitational field and an acceleration. And lastly, part B says an astronaut standing on Mars where G is equal to 3.7 newtons per kilogram. Well, this is just going to be like the question part in part A where we're dealing with a rocket accelerating. So this is the same as being in a rocket which is accelerating at 3.7 meters per second squared in deep space. Again, due to the equivalence principle, that's all for this video folks, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it one of these, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.